Hi, my name is Denise Del Valle. I am a researcher from the Technical University in Panama. And I am here at the Riga Technical University at the Water Laboratory to do some preliminary research on microplastics. We have studied the, the matrix waters of the Daugava River. This is very important for you because you use the Daugava River as a water reservoir for drinking water. Microplastics, they are degradation products from bigger plastics parts that are coming into the waters and due to the action of wind, friction in the water, UV radiation and uh, pH and other chemicals present in the waters will degrade uh, very slowly to uh, smaller sizes so that we have at the end what we call microplastics uh, which are around one millimeter and less in size. Currently, we talk also about nanoplastics. The plastic will continue degrading in and decreasing in size so that it will enter at some point the food chain. And uh, we are at the end of this food chain. It is very important to know what are the effects and the consequences of having these small particles in our water. Plastics were found in every fraction I studied from the Daugava River in form of fibers. They were present in form of irregular fragments and uh, also as spheres, uh, which are small pellets. We put them on purpose on our cosmetics. We put it in, in our toothpaste, in our creams, facial creams. They are also being used as abrasives for cleaning machines and cleaning ships uh, from, from old paintings. For Latvia, I would recommend to install a monitoring program to be aware of how, how much plastics we have in which uh, size fractions so that we know with which concentrations of plastics we are dealing with and what kinds of plastics we are having in the waters. Take care of recycling and reusing plastics, not uh, throwing them away. We should uh, also initiate campaigns, sensibilization campaigns in schools so that the small children uh, can know about this topic and uh, bring this message to their homes.